Newcastle United are facing a selection headache as they prepare to face Manchester United in the Carabao Cup final at Wembley on Sunday afternoon. Eddie Howe's side will be without first-choice goalkeeper Nick Pope for the clash with the Reds through suspension, while second-choice shot stopper Martin Dubrovka is ironically cup-tied having represented United in the competition while on loan earlier this season. As a result, former Liverpool man Loris Karius will come in for his first competitive game in almost two years. The 29-year-old German will make his first appearance for an English side since his horror showing in the 2018 Champions League final for Liverpool, in which he made two costly mistakes as Real Madrid won 3-1. Despite this, the Magpies will be boosted by the return of Bruno Guimaraes, with the Brazilian midfielder having now served his own suspension for a red card. However, January arrival Anthony Gordon is cup-tied after playing for Everton in the competition earlier this campaign. Carius, who joined Newcastle earlier this year, has not played a competitive match since February 2021, which came while he was on loan at German outfit Union Berlin. While his career has not gone to plan in recent years, the goalkeeper has still made more than 245 appearances as a professional, and he is likely to come under pressure against United on Sunday. Newcastle's defence will be under immense scrutiny with Carius playing behind them, but they have been solid as a unit this season and have typically operated with the same four players. Former Tottenham ace Kieran Trippier is the leader in the back four, while Dan Byrne has done well as a makeshift left back. In midfield, Guimaraes' availability for the final comes as a major boost for Howe. The 25-year-old has impressed for the Magpies this season, registering four goals and three assists in 24 appearances. He is likely to be joined by the hard-working Sean Longstaff, who came through the ranks at Newcastle, and Brazilian ace Joa Linton. The latter arrived at the club as a striker but has been transformed into a midfielder at St. James Park. Miguel Almiron has been one of the most in-form players this season, having scored 10 times in 23 league matches. The Paraguayan attacker has made the right-wing position his own and he will almost certainly play against Eric Ten Hag's men at Wembley. The tricky Alan St. Maximin could get the nod on the other flank, while Callum Wilson will be aiming to score his first goal in the competition this season on Sunday. Carius, Trippia, Schar, Botman, Byrne, Longstaff, Gimaraes, Joa Linton, Almiron, Wilson, St. Maximin.